By February 25, 1942, the Japanese offensive throughout the Pacific had largely been a success as the empire stretched from Malaya to Guadalcanal to Wake Island. Parts of Borneo and the Philippines were still contested by Dutch and American forces, but for the most part, Japan now controlled much of Southeast Asia. In an attempt to stem the tide, U.S. Pacific Command chose Wake Island as its first target in what would no doubt be a long and bloody campaign to destroy Japanese naval and ground forces and drive the empire back to its home islands. By February 28, Task Force 1 encountered waves of enemy aircraft as it escorted the invasion force near Wake Island, successfully destroying over 30 bombers as Task Force Zulu landed Marines later that evening. With Wake Island secure by March 2nd, Enterprise and Task Force 1 were tasked with a new and more dangerous operation, escorting transport and supply ships to Port Moresby before time ran out for its Australian defenders. Hello, welcome back to War on the Sea. It is the 2nd of March, 1942, day five of the Pacific Campaign. We are playing as the Allies. And I would like to begin with a short summary of what happened in the last episode, which is not much. We went after Wake Island, we landed there, and this is what's happening currently. We have 4,272 troops, double the supplies, and we're doing fairly well here. It looks like we'll maybe take it in the next couple days. We'll see. Uh, based on what I've seen in my testing, uh, ground combat seems to be a little close, uh, faster in this version, in this mod, than the base game. But we shall see. I do have a, a somewhat mid-term strategy for the next couple weeks. And I'll go over that soon. But uh, the short-term strategy is... I'm going to send Task Force 1 and Enterprise back to the Midway Island area to defend against any possible counterattack. And I'm going to do that until I get my command points, which should be on day 7, we'll see. I don't know exactly yet, we'll see though if it does happen soon. Again, we're going to stay over here and try and wrap this up in a couple days. And then once we get our, our command points, I'm going to buy basically another Task Force uh, another task force Zulu, another task force, task force such as this one, and I think this one, yeah, this one's still on its way back to Midway. I'm not going to send any more troops to Wake, so we're going to load it up with more troops. How many do we have here at Midway? We still have plenty, so we'll load it up, get another task force similar, load it also up, and then once we have that. We're going to proceed with Task Force 1 and these two transport task force down to the Milne Bay, Port Moresby area. Because from what I understand, from what I gathered in the comments and what I've been reading, um, you can't lose Port Moresby and Milne Bay. I believe that's what I got from the comments. Uh, even if I have, say, one of these other objectives, like say I have Terwa and... Um, one of these others that's listed in the in the in the objectives. Even if I have those, if I lose both Port Moresby and Midway, I've lost. That's what I got from the comments. Is that true? Uh, let me know. Um, and then what we'll probably also do is take the the troops from Horn Island and send them to Port Moresby. We're gonna put everything in Port Moresby. We need to keep Port Moresby. It's very important. So we're probably going to Terra was going to be a secondary objective. But we need to, I need to send as many troops as I can down to Port Moresby as soon as I can. Uh, we do have Task Force 3 down here, which consists of three. Uh, I think these are Gato class subs, yes. And they will be patrolling this area, sinking as much as I can in this area until they can get here. So that's the plan. And we'll see how it goes. Right now we'll have Task Force 1, I, I believe... Yes, we rearmed. 
and the end of the last episode. So we're going to send them out. And again, they're just going to hang out here until we get our second transport task force. And then once they load up, we'll rendezvous somewhere down here and make our way down to Milne Bay. That's the plan anyway. So I'm going to let this roll and see what happens. I will be back uh, when something interesting does happen. So it does appear that things do happen quickly here. Wake Island, I've just been informed, is under our control. Look at this. That bar was at least double that size er, uh, when I started this. Um, I think that was, it was what, uh, 9 p.m. Uh, on March 2nd. So uh, after 12 hours, and we're already at this point here. Let's see what kind of uh, aircraft we have here. Catalina's Fortress is nice. Havocs and Wildcats. That's perfect. Perfect good, perfectly good mix. We will. Uh, we don't have any yet because we don't have any supply here. Or well, we have supplies, but we need engineering and fuel. Uh, as soon as we get some aircraft here, we will send them up. Okay, as you may have just seen, we got our. It's it's uh, just past noon on day seven, March fourth, and yes, we just got our command points. It was forty-two command points. So, and we've been doing patrols here. Uh, this is what the patrols look like. Just looking for Japanese possible Japanese task forces that may be coming this way. Don't see anything. Let's look at Wake Island. That We should have this by tomorrow. Don't know if I want to take these troops. I might do that. We'll see. Uh, we do, we have 5,000 here. I believe I can take like 4,000. So we'll probably take from some from Wake. I need to leave some at Midway Island, otherwise <laughs> the the mod thinks that the island's open and it's open to anybody and we don't control it anymore, which is kind of silly, but that's fine. Uh, let's see, let's go to Midway and do a new, see, let's see what we can get here. I think we can probably get 2160, so that's about 4300, we have 5000 troops. So we'll load up this one task force, leave the rest of them here, and then we're going to need probably... Oh, how many do we want to leave at Wake? I probably want to leave a couple thousand, maybe? So I'm going to need at least one more Macaulay. And probably as many supply ships as I can get. So that's what we'll do. Well, it's not exactly a bunch. This is all I can afford. One destroyer escort a Macaulay and two supply ships, two C3 cargo ships. That's going to cost me 40. I have 42 command points. This should be able to, with this, we should be able to send about 6,000 troops down to Port Moresby and a bunch of supplies. Let's see, this would be 3,000, about 9,000 supplies, something like that. That should really do it. That should take care of it. And, and we shouldn't have to mess with this again. We'll see, though. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. Buy those. And we'll call this... Let's see. Task Force 7, huh? How about... Let's call it Task Force Yankee. Yes, we're going backwards in the alphabet. Okay, we're loaded up and ready to go. Here's Zulu. Paul Jones has 100 supplies. The two Macaulays have 2,160 troops. And the C3s... All have supplies. Task Force Yankee. The Whipple has 100 supplies. Macaulay will pick up troops at Wake and more supplies. So we're leaving Midway uh, for, se for seven days with 710 troops. Uh, 2,800 supplies should be fine because we have a level 5 airfield here. I don't think they would dare attack us. Um, that would pretty much be suicide for them. So we're going to get the... Uh, the two transport task force, we're going to have them head out and get them down to Wake Island, rendezvous, and we're going to keep patrolling skies here because you never know when the Japs are going to come out, uh, show up with a task force. It could very easily happen. So we'll monitor the situation as to how long is this going to take these to get down here. Wow, 61 hours. Okay, and imagine how long it's going to take to get down here. So I hope it, one of these can hold out until then. Okay, this could be interesting. Encounter at Milne Bay. 
Task Force, Nine Ships Possible Carrier. We're going to take a peek. Here are the three subs. They're down here already. This could be really fun. Let's go to Milne Bay. What do we have here? We have uh, Kitty Hawks, I guess we could use as as a as a uh, scout. I do have... What do we have at uh, Horn? It's a little far away. But... Uh, mm, not a whole lot available. Lightnings and Air Cobras. Let's launch a Kitty Hawk from Milne Bay. Let's see what this is first before we do anything. Just kind of curious. No armament. Let's just send them out there. And again, identify this task force. And that's probably close enough. Let's go tactical. And start... Aha! Uh -huh. Right over here, it's probably got a carrier. Oh, it's just a float plane carrier. But they do have... That's a light cruiser. They do have transports. It appears that they have transports. So, destroyer, let's, let's go this way. These are probably... Oh, that's a light carrier... It's going to be another one over here. And here it comes. I'm going to pause so I can take a look before this. these zeros come and swat me. Destroyer. Uh, carrier. Transport. Another one. Heavy cruiser. Well, they have three. Let's see, number two. Number three. Is it just two and three? And one? One, two, and three are their transports. These... I might be able to sink with my subs. At least that's what I'm going to try and do. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to go after because that's... Uh, those obviously are the ones that have the troops, so... Let's try and... Retreat. Looks like it's going to let me retreat. Cool. Okay, well, we will, I guess, return to base. And then we're going to send our, our subs in. I did have them coming up here. I had Drum going in this direction, Kingfish here. And then I was going to send Flying Fish over to Port Moresby, but nah, not, not anymore. We're going to stay and wait for them. I think they were right here. Okay, first up is Drum. Let's go tactical with her. And see where they are at. Hopefully, we're right in front of them. I don't see them. There they are. Oh my god, that's perfect. Let's, we're going to torpedo number two. We're basically going to turn to port and just sit here and wait for them to pass. What was this again? Heavy cruiser. I might go after that one too. But that's the target. We're basically going to set the sub right about here. Well, right here. Let them come towards us. And I'll have the sil sub silent as soon as number two gets close and uh, is about even or right, right next to drum. Uh, drum will fire. It's torpedoes sink this thing and hopefully try and get out of there that's what we're gonna that's what we're attempting or you know long range shots are not gonna be are not gonna be easy oh what's this oh of course they have aircraft that know exactly my location that's 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 interesting more aircraft let's um we're at 30 feet let's go down to 50 just 70 until those aircraft are gone okay this is our position right now in the task force they have it's taken a while to get here uh, the drum sitting right here this is our target we're at 76 79 percent we're gonna go ahead and fire uh, zero percent I 
I'm, 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 I'm going to fire four because our torpedoes suck. There they go. And then we're going to get the hell out of here in th this course right here. We're going to go ahead and full speed and go down to about 200. Maybe 230, something of that nature. And <laughs> see what happens here. Hope I, hopefully I didn't fire too late. Well, we got her. She's going down. <laughs> we only had one good hit on her. I wonder... Look at this. It's going to let me leave if I want to. What is this ship here coming after me? That is a destroyer. I don't know if she knows where I'm at, but... You know what? I'm going to... Leave. <laughs> so we sunk one. The... Uh, one merchant vessel. And we're out of here. And we're going to continue doing this. Uh, I think maybe next time I'll give them a little shot to try and find me. Or at least come after me, but uh, not that time. Uh, up here near Wake Island, we're still waiting for a test for Zulu and Yankee to arrive. They still have another, let's see, 20, another day to get here. And they're going to be here. Okay, this looks good. It's going to be close to, well, the morning. When they get there, I might, maybe I should wait until... Actually, we're going to do that. Let's just sit here and let's see. Well, it's 24 hours. So, yeah, I want to wait until around 7 p.m. And then we'll start moving. We're going to wait 12 hours and then start moving towards Wake Island. Uh, and in the meantime, we'll play some sub games down here. Okay, this time it's the Kingfish. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Let's uh, begin over here. Start... And where are they? Hopefully they're right in front of us again. I'm not sure where Drum is. Uh, probably up here somewhere on the map. So let's take a look and see what's left. Here's number two. Number one. Yeah, so the, the heavy cruiser moved up a little bit. They changed their... It's actually the same formation, really. But let's play the same game here. Although, hmm... Might go after, I think, number, yeah, that one has the most capacity. Yeah, what I'd like to do is sit right here and then move this way after we hit it to get away from the destroyers. So we'll probably do the same damn thing. Let's move Kingfish and sit her right about here. Oops, yeah, I'll just do it manually, I guess. Since we can't do it this way, let me. Oh, there we go. That's kind of what I wanted. And we'll just wait for them to show up. Let's go ahead and target number two. Start getting a solution. Okay, she's closing in. Kingfish is sitting right here. You can barely see her. Her, her uh, periscopes right here. And this is our target. And. Our solution's up to 86, 87 percent, and we'll be firing here very soon. Firing four torpedoes, zero percent spread. 89. I'm going to fire, and then we're going to speed up, dive.
Okay, we got her too. She finally went down. I gave them a little chance to get me, but uh, um, they didn't quite make it. So we're going to leave. And that's two down. I wasn't going to stick around and let them uh, <laughs> all come after me all at once. Uh, let's see. I think we still have... Drum has... I think she still has... I forgot how many torpedoes they begin with, but she's only used four kingfish is here. We still got flying fish. I'm going to see if I can actually move all of these drum. We're going to see if we can stalk this convoy. So we're going to move all of them kingfish down this way. Same thing with uh, flying fish who hasn't got their chance yet. We're going to continue stalking that convoy and let's see what's happening up here at wake. Okay, encounter with flying fish. This is the third. So let's go ahead and begin. And let's see if we can get that last transport. Whoa. Let me see if I can do a long range shot this time. Okay, where are they? Is this just an encounter with that aircraft? I don't see anything. Oh, there they are. They're over that way. Which is behind me, of course. I can't tell which way they're headed. Hey, okay. Looks like they're headed to my... To my port. I don't know. I'll see if I can... Looks like they're headed in this direction. I'll see if I can... Turn and catch them, but I doubt that's gonna... I mean, this is gonna take forever. It was pretty apparent to me that... A long-range shot wasn't going to work, so I'm at 100 feet, charging in at 9 knots, trying to get in front of this heavy cruiser, which it looks like I'm going to be able to do. Uh, solution's up to 73%, and I think we're going to turn. Well, I don't know if I'm going to have time to turn, but as soon as she gets in front of us, we'll fire, shoot, and turn off, and move in this direction. So I'm just waiting. Let's go ahead and go with four again. Zero percent spread. I want to try and get in as close as I can. This, fortunately, this destroyer did not pick me up. I don't think they're running sonar right now. Okay, we're just passing in front of the heavy cruiser. Let's go ahead and come up to start coming up. So at least to get the 40 feet right now. Then we'll pop up to 30, fire our fish and get out of here. 75% solution. Let's slow down to a stop. Come up to 30. Solution. 78%. I was hoping to get it up to 80. I'm going to fire at 78%. Alright. Full speed, 70. And let's go in this direction.
Okay, it looks like I got away uh, this time. I think that's the proper way to do it. <laughs> is to wait till they just go by uh, and then take off in the opposite direction that they're headed. Unless there's, of course, destroyers at the rear of the convoy. Uh, we're right down here at about 260 feet. And they're not chasing me, so I think we're going to wait around and see what happens. Let's look at the report. It didn't sink immediately like the others. Oh, I don't want to leave yet. Report, heavy damage, moderate flooding. Ah, okay. Well, I would like to... Can I target this? I can't. Uh, maybe... I'm gonna come up to the, I'm gonna get a little distance, come up to the surface, and see what her speed is. It doesn't look like she's moving though. Let's do a little bit more time. Yeah, they they don't know where I'm at. So I'll wait around a little bit and hopefully Oh here, she's at speed zero, three, two. They might leave her behind. And if that's the case, then I'll just come in I'll just go in and torpedo her again. And then we'll sink all three of the uh, transports. And if they continue to come at Port Moresby, I'll, I'll start going after the big ships. All right, evidently she put out her fires and she's underway again. She's at speed 10, which is faster than I can go. At periscope depth, I'm here. The target is here. This is our position. I'll take it off of fast speed here. We're moving in the same direction. All the destroyers are off that way looking for me. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to catch her, and my solution's only 40. It's been around 40, 30, in the 30s to 40 percent. I don't think that's good enough, so we're going to go ahead and retreat. And then, hopefully, we can come into contact with this task force again. I have my subs moving in this direction. It looks like I can have round two with drum. Let me see if I can move her a l actually let's see which direction they're headed oh no 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 they're they're leaving they're leaving it looks like they're going north they're definitely going north i want to verify a little bit i just want one more verification yes they're headed off north they've decided i've i've turned them away i've turned away that task force and they are leaving Excellent. Drum's got 20 torpedoes left. I think they all have 20. And they have about 10 in the in the front tubes. So we can probably stay down here two or three more times. And turn them away again. That gives us more time for our task force up here to get to Wake Island. What time is it? It's still 8 in the morning. So we're going to... Still sit here and wait until the time is right. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want them to move. What we could do at Port Moresby, we could launch some uh, lightnings. 538 nautical miles. How far away? 200. They could do it easily. And then strafe. Go in fast and strafe that last ship. And sink it. I really don't want it to get away. I think I'm going to do that. Let's go ahead and launch all my lightnings. The thing is, I don't want them to get shot down. So what I might do is just circle around for a little bit and wait and see if they... Yeah, let's just uh, let's get them up in the air. I want that last... I want that... Uh, that last merchant. Okay, right there. Let's go into tactical find it. It's right in front of us. Alright, let's turn. Let's plan this. I don't want them shooting us down quite yet. <laughs> Alright, is it number one? It is number one. So that'll be our target. Let's see where the AA is. Actually, we may, it looks like they're starting to break up already. Let's see what they do. We got a destroyer here, the heavy cruiser, light cruiser. Uh, 
They have some float planes on there, but I don't think they're going to launch them. Most of the AA... Well, this, I think the, le the less amount is going to be on this side. Because the two destroyers are over here. Let's come in from the... Let's come in from... From directly in front of them. What altitude are we at? Let's try it from... I guess 3280 is fine. And let's... Um, hmm, can we get in a little tighter? No. Let's... Form up line ahead. And I'll probably go pretty fast. Of course it's a dud bomb and I lose an aircraft. That seems rather typical. There's a lot of AA there. I don't even think if it's worth even trying to... Oops. Let's look at the report. Still heavy and moderate. I mean, if I try and strafe it, we're going to lose some both of these aircraft. More than likely. Let's hang out a little bit and see if they try and protect this ship. I think they probably will. Yeah, I think it's rather obvious that they're going to circle that ship and protect it. So let's leave. That was disappointing. Lost one aircraft. Didn't get any hits on it at all. I think we'll just leave it. Uh, let it go. And if they come back, we'll leave it for the subs. Let's go ahead and return to base. Patrol aircraft launched probably from their their carrier. I launched some Kitty Hawks. We're going to see if we can shoot them down or at least see how many there are. If we can find them. Looks like just one patrol. Looks like a Jake, I guess. We're going to go after it. Shoot that damn thing down. There it is right over there. Alright, that was easy. Easy enough. Let's retreat. And head back to base. Another float plane, looks like, is trying to see where our subs are. We're right over Flying Fish. And we should be... Yeah, flying Fish is right here. We need you to dive. Dive now. Kitty Hawks, increase speed, go after that, go after that thing. Man, I think I could fly better than you guys. Seriously. What is this? Are you trying to get yourself shot down? Come on, stop playing games. That's more like it. Okay, another aircraft down. Sub saved. Let's retreat. And head back home. Okay, it's 7 p.m. It's time to start getting Task Force Zulu and Yankee. Let's get them going towards Wake. By the way, how's it look on Wake? Okay, we should have this in the morning. We'll see. We'll have Task Force 1 start moving in this direction as well. Okay, just got notification. Enemy troops defeated on Wake Island. There we go. Totally defeated. We still have 4,200 troops here. Wow, they went through some supplies. Okay. So I think the next... What level airfield do we have here? Level 3. We still don't have any aircraft here, though. We need... We need uh, some... 
some supply, uh, some engineering and fuel. So I think on day 14, I'm going to create another small task force for engineering and fuel and start bringing them down here. Of course, they're going to approach. Um, I might do it with you know, fuel is going to be difficult because those things are slow. They'll be subjected to air attack while the carrier's away. It's going to be tough. Uh, we'll see what we can do. But right now, I wanted to launch one other search aircraft here. I have this one, this one, and this one. I think I want one out here to the north as well. Task Force Yankee. Let's go ahead and uh, manage cargo. I'm going to take... Let's see. Let's take... Uh, I, I think I'm going to need... About half of these troops. Yeah, I'll leave 2,000 here. That sounds good. And, ooh, supplies. Uh, maybe. You know what? Maybe. Who? Let's see. Hold on a sec. Let's see. We're going to be going down. Here's Zulu. That's 3,000. 6,000. Uh, 6,000 6, supplies. Plus 6, 7, almost 8,000 supplies. Maybe that's enough. Well, that's going to have to be enough because that's all I can carry. <laughs> um, so we're going to leave 2,000 troops, 3,500 supplies. Whipple, I think you'll just not take anything. So Whipple's got nothing. The Macaulay has 2,100 troops. Supplies, supplies. Okay, let's get them out of here. Let's, uh, I guess... Let's head off in this direction and hope we're not spotted by Japanese aircraft as we pass through between these islands. Okay, we just got some really, really great news. Enemy troops defeated at Port Moresby. And I was really starting to worry because we're down to 800 troops here. I just looked at this. Uh, probably when this clock was at about 11 something and I was thinking and then here here's where our task force are located right now and I thought I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down there in time but we defeated the enemy troops and so that should give us a little bit of more breathing room uh, and time to get down here N now we just have to run the gauntlet um, and that's what we're doing and hopefully uh, we just, we're not going to be, I mean, this I believe is their air, this is their air search area for their air. Uh, we just, as long as we don't get in that, in, in, in range of their air search radar, we should be fine. The only problem is, the only worry is being spotted by uh, search aircraft uh, that they send up or search aircraft from, from task force, in a, a task force. And that's very possible we, we might get spotted on the way down here. I think once we get past Tarawa, uh, we should be fine because these are Santa Cruz, level one airfield, level one airfield, Shortland's level three. Now, Rabal's five. That's going to be uh, tough. But if, if we can get past the Gilbert Islands without being spotted, I think we'll have a really good... By the time we get down here, if we get spotted, okay, that's fine. I think we could fight our way over. What does Lay have? Uh, level two airfield. I think we could manage to fight our way over here and get out of here. Uh, hopefully, we'll see what. Ooh, they have a two ships here. Not sure what these are. Obviously, it says maybe two subs. We should maybe take a look. Although we can't <laughs> because we have no no aircraft here. Let's launch. A Dauntless, one Dauntless, and go take a peek. See what the hell this is. I mean, if it's if it's a carrier, who knows? I might be able to launch a strike from Enterprise, but let's take a look. All right, let's go tactical. See if we can spot this. Where's Wake? <laughs> we're, we're supposed to be right over Wake. Not seeing anything. Fake news of fake ships, apparently. There's nothing here. 
So we'll have that done. Let's return to base. And, oh, shit, we need to get the Yankee and Zulu caught up to... Let's have Task Force 1 stay right about there for now. It is now March 11th, 5 a.m. in the morning, and Task Force 1, along with Task Force Zulu and Yankee, have made it past Tarawa without being spotted. I did not see any Japanese search aircraft at all. So now we are headed towards the Solomon Island chain, where we will try and make it past Guadalcanal and make our way to Port Moresby, hopefully without being spotted. But I don't think our luck is going to last all the way. But we will find out what happens on the next episode. I'm going to leave it here. And again, when we come back, we will try and make it to Port Moresby to drop off the troops and supplies. And hopefully that will take care of Port Moresby's needs. I think by then... They should have two, four, maybe 6,000 troops and probably 10,000 supplies. Hopefully that will take care of them for quite a while. And then we can start our operation on Tarawa. But again, thank you for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you again in the next one.